All right, welcome back, everybody. So um, I mentioned I was having recording issues, and I think I still am. I've tried to downscale revolu- or the resolution to hopefully not get the frame drops. Um, tried a lot of different settings, and essentially I thought I had it working for the second episode, but I completely lost the recording uh, because it was screwed up. And there's no way to recover your saves in this game. You basically just have to move on. So we've essentially missed week two. And I can catch everybody up. Not that much happened. I can see there's still some frame drops. I'm still going to have to work on this. Um, so we picked up a few heroes over here. Uh, most notably, we got a Hellion. This is a, a good person to have. She's a good front row with this attack, which lets her with Iron Swan lets her attack the back row, the stress dealers on the other team. So these are always good to have on your team in the front row, and then she also has a, a decent second skin tech. But she has this trait right here, plus 10% protection, so she might be a keeper. Um, plus protection, plus crit, plus damage, these are all things that you're looking for uh, for keeper kind of traits. Um, these, these are not great anti quirks that she has or negative quirks that she has though so that's not good we also picked up another healer healers are important if this one dies I want to make sure I have somebody else and so you're gonna need either one of these um, vestals or a cultist which we have not been given a cultist to choose from yet so so I picked up another vestal um, my roster is now full and the, hopefully we'll get some more deeds next time so we can upgrade our roster uh, we need two more deeds on this next run. So, with that, um, also put a Plague Doctor, because he had some decent traits over here that he got from this last time. Speed, uh, critical range skill. So, we've I decided to heal his stress. And for, for most characters, once their stress gets about that high, this low level, I just kick him out of the, kick him out of the uh, town and pick up somebody else. I decided to keep him uh, plus he did really well for me in the second run uh, so a little loyalty there we're gonna figure out where we're gonna go we had the weld open up and this will give us some deeds which is what we need so we're probably gonna go to the weld for sure uh, yeah that's not that great that's uh, that's okay but the, um, we need the deeds, so we're gonna make a weld run. Let's see, these guys, their stress is still manageable. So we went through that second run, and he was the only one, their plague doctor was the only one who built up any level of stress. The other ones did really great. So what I think, we have two really options here that I can see. We can either take an arbalest, which is kind of like a backline sniper, move him into the fourth spot, and move the priest, the uh, Vestal into the third spot or we can take the Hellion put her in the front row and put the Crusader right behind her um, because uh, the Highwayman is going to be okay in the third position or the second position honestly he could even if he had point blank shot he, he could move up to the first position and do a lot of damage that way too uh, but he does not have that skill so I like the Hellions. Um, well, we're not going to have our stuns, though. So, let me think about this for a second. Without our stuns... Yeah, we might have to pound our way through. So, I'm going to take a Hellion. Uh, because we don't have the Plague Doctor for the stuns anymore. Does she have... She has a stun skill. So, that will come in handy a little bit. Okay, and this is a short run... So we don't need too much stuff. We'll take one anti-venom, one bandage, one key, one shovel. We'll take, uh, let's see, seven, seven torches. Got to remove that. There we go. And how much food? Um, I think we'll take ten food. We'll see how this goes. The paths are littered with poisonous traps. Yes, they are indeed.
corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life all right, from so these at least groves. the dungeon layout's real nice. It's Let nice and linear. This evil. Shouldn't be any issues. So he is going to just jump on that. Doors for the taking. Yes. Yeah. So he is a kleptomaniac, which I forgot about. Um, we need to get rid of him. Yeah, so he just steals stuff. So, even though he has a lot of positive traits now, we either need to clear this, there's a building that allows you to clear the negative traits, or we need to get rid of him, because that's going to be annoying. I'm taking all of it. Hmm, they surprised me, huh? It's a little bit of bad luck to start off with. She's gonna go for the stun here. They have pretty high stun rates, yeah. So. These ectoplasm things have pretty high stun resistance. I've got to figure out this recording issue. It's bothering me. Hopefully, it's not bothering everybody else too much. Uh, we're gonna go with pistol shot. Try to get rid of one of the other ectoplasms before next round. Yeah, we need to move him back up to a position where he can actually do something. Okay. Their Hopefully she will take him out. Broken. Yep. Maintain the offensive. Excellent work, Hellion. Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. No, we're not going to. Well, I'm going to see if I can take him out before he gets a turn. It's possible. Depends on when he acts, when he moves. Yeah, so, okay. It's favorable for us. Falls, and then when we faint hope blossoms. If we... I'm not going to be able to stun her, probably, because her resistance has went up so high. Maybe we'll get lucky. No. And he does not have anything that can affect her. Uh, so he will just try to clear those out of the way. But she's probably going to act first. Well, got lucky again. Continue the onslaught. So not too bad. We got a little bit of stress on our healer there. But we can live with that. Ectoplasms all around. Boy, they just shuffle you up good, don't they? Try to get rid of this guy in the front. Hopefully, the Crusader will go before he does. Unnerved, unbalanced. More than likely, I'm not going to be able to stun them. I'll just heal her. Maybe we'll get lucky and go one shot this, this guy. Give them no quarter. Takes a turn out of the way. We get our Hellion back up to the front. We still have his. Oh wait, I forgot he doesn't have point blank shot. This guy away. So we get as the enemy crumbles. That'll work out for us. Her getting sent all the way to the back. She's 
pretty much worthless as well as he is not worthless. Oh, I shouldn't have passed. I forgot they get stressed when you pass a turn. in the formation we came into the room in. Perfect. Go us. Go team us. Good shot. So this will be the last round, hopefully. So first too, we'll room, resistance. wasn't it? Ancient coffin. I can't remember what goes in an ancient coffin. I'm not gonna look it up, so I'm just gonna dump some holy water. Nope, that wasn't it. So I tell you what, we'll use our kleptomaniac here. You can go search it. <laughs> He's got. I'm pretty sure it will get rid of one, and you can only keep four traits. I thought. But we need more money indeed, so we're going to continue scrounging this dungeon. Man, these guys with their switcheroos. They really kind of make the battle last a lot longer. Let's see sometimes. Right. A decisive right. pummeling. Perfect. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. They can be beaten. So we can use our shovel here in the grave. Perfect. Get some money. Yep, we don't have another shovel, so we're not going to look at that one. the bag. Perfect. What did we get? 25 gold. Wow. Don't spend it all in one place. And we have a moving on up. We're actually going to the west side. Okay. Oh, and we don't have a shovel. Nature so herself. We just have to dig a through. Victim to the spreading the thorns. Take the stress. This intent. Beast carcass. I can't remember what the. I think this is a bandage. Or a, let's try the anti venom. Nope. Oh, well, let's try the bandage because I can't remember. Nope. <laughs> Maybe it's the torch. We'll just pass it. Not even taking my own advice and looking those things up. So I need to do that in the future. All right. Almost to the end of the dungeon. Light. Ah, these thorns. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh. Maybe and in distress, but that's purpose. okay, because 
definitely getting rid of a lot of these guys. I forgot I had swapped him back. Nope, you swap up here. Now you swap with him. There we go. Now we're in order. Down to one torch. Two rooms left. Okay. Definitely got to get rid of this guy. <laughs> oh, and it used our last torch. It's okay. So here's what happens when they get to the end of the stress line. Something happens. Now she's going to start freaking out and yelling at everybody else. The causing them more stress. We have one more room though, so we're gonna finish this dungeon before we go back. And nobody's here. Okay. So we will finish that. And go back and see what we get back corruption into. Corruption is an endless battle, but one that must be fought. Scouting chance, disarm chance, that's kind of a crap thing. We got some deeds and some money. Backtracker is not great. Scattering. Scattering. Let's see if she got a negative trait. That's not good either. Alright, we're going to do some management. So, he achieved a state of emptiness. He refused to stop meditating. So, so, we put him in to heal his stress. And his stress did go down, but now he refuses to come out. So, this is kind of the, the stuff that can happen back at town. And we unlocked a new building. Sanitarium. Okay. All right. Where we can treat quirks and diseases, which we're not going to spend our hard-earned money on that yet. All right. So we got another tank here. The Seeker. Okay. Um, he's got. This is a good skill. The crush his re regular attack, and he doesn't have these other ones, which is okay. This is a buff. Uh, another buff. And. Retribution. So he can mark himself and then he gets to attack back if somebody attacks him. I haven't used that too much. Um, and we got an occultist. That's good. Okay. Not a great skill either. Oh, wait. Did he have the pull? So no, he doesn't. So this demon's pull is a good skill to have in the occultist because they can pull the back row guys up to the front for your frontline fighters to pummel on. Got some more um or, uh, arbalists. Which we can check and see if they're better than our other ones. I like the battlefield bandage and the sniper shot. They obviously have to have the sniper shot. I think I've never seen one without it, so they probably always come with that. Uh, but I also like to have this battlefield bandage as kind of like a backup healer. And then Bola's okay. So uh, let's get rid of some folks, shall we? She is all stressed out. Dismiss. Yes, goodbye, lady. It is done. See you later. Turn yourself now to the condition Our of the poor devils who remain. Mm. I think we might hang on to our Hellion for now. Uh, just because. Renald, yeah, he's gone. We don't want this kleptomaniac anymore. This one has become vestigial. Useless. All right, and Dismiss. He's got the speed. He's got stun resist, which um, those are pretty good. I like the speed trait for him. That helps a lot. Uh, the stun resist, I mean, it's always good to have stun resist. Wish he had point blank shot. So what do we need? We need another healer, so we're gonna have, we need to take this occultist. To fight the abyss, and one must know it. We already have Faded is a good one to have, so we're going to keep that guy. What about this Arbalist? Second Wind. And Stress Faster. So neither one of those is that great. So we could trade one of these guys. Backtracker's not great either. 
Yeah, Unholy Slayer is probably, that's a little better. Sniper's Mark, so he can mark targets, which doesn't complement any of our other guys, really. I think we might take the other tank. Yeah. I think we're gonna we're gonna take the the uh, man of arms. The raw strength of youth. So that will get our our but his eyes hold roster the up to snuff. And then here we're gonna increase the size of our roster. I forgot we could do that because we could just take both of these two now as well. Shoot, bandage, and so we're gonna move her up to the top. The dancing steps of war. We're gonna move him up to the top. The Hellion has good skills that we want to keep. Lacy, um, and you can just kind of keep sliding folks up that you want to keep um, up to the top and those are the folks that you'll actually spend money to uh, remove quirks and stress and those sorts of things all right so i think i'm going to end this episode here um, and check out the video quality and everything else and uh, keep working on that for the next episode but thank you for watching darkest dungeon the strategy let's play and Catch you next time. Thanks for listening.